Hi everyone, my name is Peter Pakulski. Today we will continue building financial model for a clothing store or shoe store. And today we have a very big target, very well significant target. We will start building a chain. We will start building a core um, for the chain. Uh, so guys like share subscribe you can always order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas we can help you with that at the end screen of this video i will give you the link to the playlist where i will be keeping all these tutorials and when i completely finish this model i will give you all the links in the description of this video as well so you will be able to watch all tutorials from scratch till the final overview absolutely free so first of all let's uh, very quickly run what we did uh, during our previous tutorials so we have um, a rule in our model that all inputs are colored with specific uh, color it is blue color all other cells are formulas so we're not touching we will not be touching them during uh, scenario modeling so here we specify when we start our horizon uh, we have two collections, spring, summer and autumn, winter. Uh, here we specify when we start selling uh, the collection. Then we set up uh, the names for products inside these collections. These are the prices. We can switch on and off different items from product line. We have global and local coefficients um, for uh, each uh, item for pricing we have then we set up uh, so we will be able to play with these coefficients during scenario model and we can increase decrease the pricing for all the items or just for specific items then we can set up uh, the sales plan we have uh, global and local coefficients for sales plan then we set up the level for manufacturing costs uh, we can we have global and local coefficients for uh, uh, manufacturing costs then we set up uh, the level of discounting for the prices uh, during the period when the collection will be uh, will be inside the store um, so here we set up the discounts then we uh, set we allocate uh, the sales plan uh, inside the timeline uh, from the moment when the collection appears in the store till we send the last item of this collection so here we specify uh, how we allocate the sales plan inside the timeline then we have the same story for autumn winter collection we uh, allocate uh, so we have the cost of manufacturing of uh, our two collections and before we start selling these collections, uh, we have six months uh, period prior to the moment when we start, when the collection appears in the store, we locate the manufacturing cost before we start selling this collection. This is the story for spring summer collection and autumn winter collection. So here we get the revenues for the collection, manufacturing costs, then we have fixed costs um, we can switch them on and off we have global and local coefficients then we can set up the payroll um, we can switch on and off different people we can increase decrease the level of payroll we have the investment plan uh, we can switch on and off different uh, items of investment plan from calculations uh, then we can specify the uh, life cycle of the um, of the store. So, for example, after 24 months of operating activity, the store will be closed. For example, uh, then we set up the level of asset tax monthly, and then we can set up how fast we are reaching the target revenues uh, from the moment when the store starts operating. So, um, this will be the portrait of um, uh, of just one type of store so this is the portrait then uh, let's create a new tab uh, let's name it um, a core let's name it a core 
let's make some adjustments So first of all, what I would like to do, I will go up, I will go up, I will copy this table on the top, paste it here. So. I will link this year with this tab, with this cell. This is no longer the input, so I'm coloring it with regular color. And then, so this will be the portrait of the first type of store. So for example, we can uh, be uh, opening small stores, medium stores, big stores, for example, uh, some of them will be more profitable, some of them will be less profitable, some of them will uh, bring us losses, for example, and we will be creating a chain uh, using these, for example, different types of uh, portraits. So, uh, what I need to do now, um, I will use coefficients I will for quick scenario modeling I need to bring all coefficients a little bit closer to the core uh, to ease uh, the scenario play for the future so first of all um, so this will be a block of inputs um, so this is the will be the parameter. This will be uh, coefficient value. So the first parameter will be pricing. So here I will be using coefficients so the base value for these coefficients will be 100% value so what I'm doing now I have pricing final I will be adding this coefficient here So this is for one collection. This is for the second collection. Then um, we are adding sales plan coefficient. So later we will just put here simple and discounted payback period diagram, main financials and we will be just playing with this coefficient and we will be able to see easily what will happen with simple discounted payback period diagram, what will be the net present value here, what will be the for example internal rate of return so this will ease our life a hundred percent so then um, sales plan final we are adding this coefficient here So 
So sales plan number one. Oh, so it is autumn winter. So we are club. Now we are adding this coefficient here. Now we will add coefficient to uh, manufacturing costs. So I'm going here and cost of collection to do, 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 direct cost step one local global direct cost per unit and I'm gonna add this coefficient here. So when you will start building uh, many, many scenarios, this system of coefficient will save you a lot of time. So direct costs, then we are moving to the bottom. Let's multiply it. Okay, so this will be direct cost. Then the next the next coefficient that we need fixed costs so fixed costs so we are going here we are adding this coefficient here Then payroll. Then investment plan.
so now let's create uh, two, 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 two. so types of stores um, type of store so this will be store type one so let's assume that we have six types of stores that's enough for our today's uh, tutorial so this will be a new block of inputs So we can uh, give them names for these portraits. So these are the inputs. So I'm coloring it with blue. Um, so what I will do now, what I will do now, I will, so this will be, I will copy this and do, 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 what I do now. I will spring summer collection. I will add a line here. Press equals and this will be store type one. So this will be a store type one. Now I will create uh, five copies for other types of stores. So one mover copy. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. So here I have six portraits for different uh, types of stores so store number one then store number two two then three Four, five, and six. So we will create on off. For them so I will use data validation as usually data validation list
so what's next so if this equals to this I will put one otherwise zero So now we are moving to one of the most important blocks in our model. So this will, I will name it the core. Um, the first, so this will be a new block of inputs. This will be a new block of inputs. So this will be type of store. Um, Starts operating, starts operating, starts operating. Um, year, month, and then on off. So here, for example, so uh, here I will be, just a second guys, so here I will be modeling the structure of, uh, of our chain of stores. So for example, uh, da, 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 so data, data validation, list, uh, list. I will be choosing from this library home so let's say we have well 40 stores in our chain let's assume So this will be a core for our model. Let's assume that we will be opening this amount of stores type one, then this amount of stores type 2 then this amount of stores type 3 a couple of type 4s then this amount type 5 and this amount of type 6 so here we in this column we're specifying what kind of store we're going to open then we are going to set up when we are going to open this uh, this specific store so home um, data data validation list so year I will years I will be pulling from this table. So these are the inputs. So I'm coloring it with blue. So here we will be specifying the year when we will be open this or that specific store, then month,
so these are months then for example we would like to switch off some specific store from calculations um, on off this will be local 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 so I will be using data uh, list then on off on off from here So this is the input, I'm coloring it with blue. Now I'm using this formula. I can copy this formula from here. So if this value equals to this, this will be one. then on off on off global so on off global so for that purpose I will be using the lookups so I will be searching this value in this table I will need the third column exact match I will be freezing this table if error I will put zero then final final on off this will be this cell multiply this Let's make it green. Okay. Let's extrapolate it. So what we are fighting for, for example, if I want to, just a second. So for example, if I want to exclude store type number one from calculations, I can do it here. We can see here zeros and we will be able to see the cash flow statement of our chain without store type number one. Or for example, I just want to switch off specific stores type one from calculations and I can do it here leaving other stores type one inside our calculations so this means that our model is very flexible or we can for example switch off only stores store type six portrait uh, of the store type six here it is so now we've created the uh, core uh, now we need to link all the revenues, expenses, um, this will be the topic uh, of our next videos. Hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Like, share, subscribe. You can always order financial models from scratch for your unique business ideas. We can help you with that. At the end screen of this video, I will give you the link to the playlist where I will be keeping all these tutorials. And when I completely finish this model, I will give you all the links in the description of this video as well. So you will be able to 
um, free, absolutely free watch all the tutorials from the very beginning, from scratch till the final overview. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. See you in next videos. Thank you and bye.